Hi, Dr. Christine McMullen here to get you to make sure you're crafting great emails so that people will read them. Ha, wouldn't that be great? So here's reality um, in 2022. Reality in 2022 says people are not reading their email. They're tired. They don't see the point. Um, they don't know that something's going to be great. So you've got to find ways to capture their attention, whether it's within your organization or outside your organization. Here are a few things to remember. Number one, write a clear subject line. If people can't see from the subject line what why they would wanna open the email, then chances are they're just not going to. So make sure that your subject line is clear. Be thoughtful, uh, get their attention. Don't always put urgent, because if you always put urgent, then people just start to ignore urgent. Instead, make sure that you have piqued their interest with that very clear subject line. The second one, and this is tough, but important, limit the number of emails that you're sending. If you send an email every time a thought comes into your head, your employees will stop reading your emails, especially if they don't know if it's something important or something about your kids. You need to be very, very specific about what, or I'm sorry, when you email people and what it is you say in those emails. So what I like to do is a once a week kind of a thing. So once a week, I will send an email. This is an important one. It's gonna have five major things that you need to know throughout the week as things come up, unless they are super time sensitive or super specific to a person, I hold them and I put them in that email. So that when the email comes out, it always comes out at the same time on the same day, people know they need to read it because this is the one communication they're gonna get from me versus I, every time I have a thought, I'm gonna email you and you have to decipher whether or not it's important and it has something to do right now. Something else that really helps is being clear in the email about action items. So um, if it's something somebody needs to know, it's in one color. If it's something somebody needs to do, it's in another color. And making sure that people know, okay, these are the three action items I need to take because of this email. The other thing that really works super well is to make sure you're not writing a dissertation for these people. <laughs> Instead, give them some bullet points. Less words is better. Succinct. Be thoughtful about the number of words somebody's going to have to mine through in order to get to the result. So you are going to write a very clear subject line. You are going to limit the number of emails, but you're going to be consistent about when those emails go out and what is expected of people when they get them. And then you're going to clearly mark this is to know, this is to do, so that when people are done with that particular email, they know exactly what they're supposed to do next. I can't wait to hear whether or not that works. Let me know.